So what is Varus and how do we mine it? Well, let's find out. Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on and watching this video. I appreciate it. Today we're going to look into Varus. We're going to see a little bit of what it's about. We're going to look into the wallets, miners, coin price, and what you can expect to make over a 24-hour period. Also, this is the Enter to Win video for Bitcoin Friday, so stay tuned. Watch all the way through to find out how you can enter this week's Bitcoin Fridays. A little bit about myself. I've been in the cryptocurrency space nearly two years. Do a lot of speculative coin mining. Compare various GPUs and miners. And yes, I do Bitcoin Fridays where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and hammer those likes. I would appreciate it. All right, so Varus. Here is their Bitcoin talk. So as always, anything I'm talking about in this video, all the links will be down below in the description. So don't worry about searching for any of this information. The Bitcoin talk, not really going to go over too much on this. 83 million supply, so it's below 100 million. I like that. It's got its own algorithm, Varus Hash, which is pretty cool. I actually did a top CPU mineable coins in 2019 video, maybe two months ago. If you all want to check that out, it should be popping up at the end of this video. Be sure to check that out. Let's head over to their website. Here we are. CPU Mineable. Varus uses Varus Hash 2.0, a new cryptographic hash algorithm allowing mining with x64 CPUs while equalizing GPUs and offering a credible ASIC solution. Proof of power with provable 51% hash attack immunity. Varus's 50% proof of work, 50% proof of stake consensus algorithm provides unprecedented blockchain security. Privacy, Varus leverages ZK Snark zero knowledge proofs in a modified Zcash sapling fork for optional private addresses that are completely opaque to the outside world. And here is their vision, which I think is a pretty cool angle. Read about the tech and vision for Varus in the vision paper and phase white paper. Verus will introduce public blockchains as a service. So that is pretty neat right there. Make your own blockchain. Try public blockchains as a service now on Verus Testnet. So you can make your own blockchain with their, with their protocols here. So that's a pretty neat project, especially going forward. Maybe businesses want to use a, some kind of a blockchain in their own infrastructure. So they could come here to Verus and get one built. Pretty neat little project. It's been out for a while. You see the Bitcoin talk. Yeah, it's been out since May 21st, 2018, at least as far as the Bitcoin talk announcement. So, pretty cool little project. Thought I would do a video on it. It's not too often you see these CPU mineable type coins that focus on CPU mining. So, pretty neat little project. Let's get into how to mine it. So, here we are, their wallets. I downloaded the graphical wallet right here, version 0.5.7-4. They also have mobile wallets, paper wallets, command line wallets, but I'm going to show you guys this. I've already installed it, and it's right here, but I'm going to go guide you through this real quick. This is their medium on how to set the wallet up. So once you download this right here, this is your first screen you're going to come to. Welcome. So you're just going to click on the light right here and select VRSC, Varus. Then you'll come over to the next page here where you're going to click Create Wallet. Again, this link will be down below, so don't worry about trying to follow through on the vid. Then it's going to give you your different seeds. Then you're going to have to copy the seed. Then the next screen, which is actually below right here, enter your key, which is basically your password, and then name your wallet, and then click Register and you should be good to go. Then you come up to this screen and you're just, just gonna log into your wallet. So you're gonna put your wallet name and password there and sign in. Once you do that, here's what the wallet will look like. Once it's all set up and ready to go, you can add a bunch of different cryptocurrencies to here. I mean, there's gotta be well over a hundred different coins that you can add. Say I wanted to add Bitcoin Gold, you just select Bitcoin Gold, activate coin, 
and there's Bitcoin gold right there. You would click on it. It'll give you a wallet address, etc., etc. But we're doing Ferris right now. That's all we need. So you click on receive, and there's your wallet address. It's also up here as well. You can click copy, and you should be good to go for mining. Let me close this. Real quick before we go on, guys, are you into CPU mining? Let me know down below. Simple yes or no. I'm always interested to know you guys' thoughts on these things. Not a lot of people do CPU mining. I do it from time to time. And just interested in your guys' thoughts on that. So we're going to need a miner for this. So let me go over to here. They have their Windows NHEQ miner. But I downloaded the CLICC miner right here. And I put it on my NVIDIA rig. So you click that link, it'll take you over to the GitHub, which that's an older version. The newer version will be down below. So all you got to do is go right here and backspace to releases. And there we go. There's the latest version. Again, this will be down below. But you're going to need to download the bat, ccminer.exec, and this dynamic linking library file, all three of these. So I put all three of those in its own folder. Let me pull up my NVIDIA rig. And I put it in CC Miner Dash Varus Coin. You go in here, and there's all three files right there. Here is the bat file that they already give you. All you're going to have to do is edit it. So let me just push this up here. Sorry, it's CPU mining, so it is going to be laggy. You can leave the luck pool right here. That's what I'm using. But here is where you're going to put in your wallet address right there, which you just got from the wallet, which is right here. Then here is your rig identifier right there. You don't have to put that in there if you don't want. You can leave it blank. That's fine. Totally up to you. And if we scroll over just a bit, depending on what kind of CPU you have, T is going to equal the amount of threads you have. So I've got six on this Core i5-8600K. So I put six in there. If you only want to use four, you can put four in there, etc., etc. So when you're done editing this file, just click File and Save, and you'll be good to go. So let me close the actual miner here real quick. Okay, so all you're going to have to do is double-click on run dash Varus hash, and the miner will pull up. As you can see, six miner threads started, and there we go. We are mining away. And as usual, you're going to want to go over to the pool and make sure you are connected. And let me click refresh. So there we are, NVIDIA rig. That's what I had it named earlier, NVIDIA CPU. So NVIDIA rig, we are connected to the pool. About 9 mega hash right now on this CPU. It's decent, I guess. If you didn't want to use the luck pool, here is a list of pools. you got 52 hash, Zerg pool. Whatever this one is, Genesis, Genesis, is that how you say that? Genesis Mining, I guess that would be, etc. You can choose one of these pools. Just make sure you put the port and address information in there correctly, and you should be good to go on those. So let's check out the price. Here we are in CoinGecko. It's about six cents right now. Let me refresh, see if there's any changes. Nope, six cents. 24-hour volume, it's only $50. Market cap, $2.6 So not too much selling, buying and selling going on, but there is a little bit, so it is good. All right, so what can we expect to make? Here we are in miner stat. I've already put my specs in here. Again, this link will be down below as well. Power consumption, I mean, oh, 10 watts, maybe 20 at the most. Then you would just click Calculate. And it'll give you an estimate of what you could make in a current daily 24-hour. 1.22, roughly $0.09, cents, $0.06 cents after electricity costs. So not too bad for a CPU coin on a decent CPU like I got. Definitely not a thread rip or anything, but anyways. Speaking of different CPUs, if you go over to here, you can click. Again, this link will be down below for an AMD. You know, you got a thread ripper or something like that. You use that version right there. All right, guys. So that is it for Varus. Any questions or comments on that, put that down below. Now let's get into this week's Bitcoin Fridays. So here we are over at my site. 
This link will be down in the description to get over to here, so don't worry about it. So enter Bitcoin Fridays for 9619, which is this Friday. I'm going to click on that link. So as usual every week, what can I have a question this week is what sport do I coach? It's not golf, not football. It's going to be soccer. So then you're going to enter your name and email address. Click I'm not a robot. Click enter and I'll be back in a second and show you how you can get additional points. All right, so I have confirmed my entry, one confirmed entry. I can refer friends and get two more entries. You can, you can follow me on Facebook for five more, Instagram for five more, Twitter for five more. You can follow me on YouTube for 10, or you can watch my latest video for 10, which is right here, my latest video on NiceHash. You watch that all the way through, you'll get an additional 10 entries into the contest. So you can get 20, 35, 40 at a minimum right there plus anyone else you refer so that's bitcoin fridays for this week be sure to enter also be sure to check out my latest speculative mind videos that should be popping up here in a second as well along with the cpu 2019 video i mentioned earlier spread the word about this how-to video if you think somebody else would be interested in cpu mining Verus, i would appreciate that Again, questions or comments, put them down below. I always get back to everybody, or at least I try to. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Take care. Bye.